hello guys welcome to another video tutorial on straight line of slavers engineering mathematics second here we have a question so that the equation of the perpendicular from the point 1 6 3 to the line x by 1 equals to y minus 1 by 2 equals to z minus 2 by 3 is x minus 1 by 0 equals to y minus 6 by minus 3 equals to z minus 3 by 2 and the foot of perpendicular is 1 3 5 and the length of perpendicular is root 3 at first let us understand the concept of the question okay here we have given a point which is let us suppose it is I am just writing concept okay The point is one six three. The equation of the perpendicular from the point means it is a perpendicular. Okay. Perpendicular means here are two lines. To the line x by one, y minus one by two equals to z minus two by three. Means this line is x by one equals to y minus 1 by 2 equals to z minus 2 by 3 this is another line okay we have to find the equation of this line equation of this line is what we have to find okay and another thing it has given that is this is our answer okay first answer is this answer one this okay this is our answer that is the equation of this line is given already okay now and the foot of perpendicular is one three five this also we have to find the foot of perpendicular this this foot will be equals to 1 3 5 and the length of perpendicular will be root 13 that is length this length will be root 13 okay this length this will be this point and this length will be 13 just what we have to do is we have to prove only okay everything is given but we have to prove that now let's start okay now we will start our solution uh, <coughs> the given equation is x minus 1 sorry x by 1 equals to y minus 1 by 2 equals to z minus 2 by 3 okay let us suppose this is k okay let or suppose now which equation we have taken we have taken this equation okay this we have to find but we will use this equation now x equals to k y equals to 2k plus 1 z equals to 3 3k plus 2 how x1 into k k y 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 3 into k 3k minus 2 goes to right side plus 2 this way you get x y z that is what we get we have given a point there 1 6 3 we have given point one six three, and uh, what we get just now x y k this this point we get in terms of x y okay z we just found this okay x y z that is this x y z okay now. Hmm. 
now what we will do we will find the direction ratio of the required line okay for direction ratio what we have to do is a equals to x2 minus x1 equals to x2 means this k minus x1 x1 means this one okay k minus one similarly b for b we have um, y2 minus y1 equals to y2 let us suppose this is y2 2k plus 1 2k plus 1 minus we have our y2 here 6 okay 6 then 2k minus 5 okay 2k plus 1 minus 6 2k minus 5 similarly for c we have z2 minus z1 equals to 3k plus 2 our z2 3k plus 2 and our z1 is 3 minus 3 equals to 2k uh, plus 2 minus 3 3k plus 2 minus 3 means 3k minus 1 okay we get a b c in terms of k now we have to find the value of k for that we know since these two lines are perpendicular then we have a formula that is a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 equals to 0 or what we have we have direction ratio a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 c2 okay let us suppose a2 is 1 b2 is 2 c2 is 3 okay and we have already find a1 b1 c1 in last step okay in last step what we have got we have got a1 is k minus 1 into a2 a2 means 1 plus b 2k plus 1 minus 6 minus 1 minus 5 into b2 is our 2 similarly c1 3k plus 2 minus 3 3k minus 1 3k minus 1 into c2 is our 3 ok 3 equals to 0 now k minus 1 plus 4k minus 10 5 to the 10 uh, plus 3 to the 9k minus 3 equals to 0 or k plus this is 4k k plus 4k 5k 5k plus 9k that is 14k 14k similarly minus 1 minus 10 minus 11 minus 11 minus 3 minus 30, 14 equals to 0 therefore k equals to 14 by 14 equals to 1 ok now we find value of k therefore therefore a1 equals to just k k means 1 b1 equals to no a1 is we have k minus 1 yes k minus 1 means k 1 minus 1 equals to 0 similarly b1 is 2k minus 5 2 into 1 minus 5 equals to 2 minus 5 minus 3 similarly c1 equals to 3 into 1 minus 1 equals to 3 minus 1 2 okay we have got a1 b1 and c1 now we can write the equation of the line okay
now equation of line through one six three and having direction ratio zero minus three two that is this zero minus three two is x minus x1 upon a y minus y1 upon b z minus z1 upon c equals to x minus x1 is 1 by a is 0 similarly y minus y1 is 6 b means minus 3 z minus z1 means z minus 3 c means 2 then we get our is required equation okay this is required equation now we have find this first solution okay x minus 1 by 0 y minus 6 by minus 3 z minus 2 by 2 same thing okay now we have to find the perpendicular for perpendicular what we need we need two points perpendicular distance perpendicular distance we need two point uh, and that foot of perpendicular will be this foot of perpendicular will be 135 how we get that here uh, from a1 b1 c1 value and the value of k using k we can find that okay then value will be uh, we have that line P is already given we have find M uh, in place of that K we, we put 1 then we get 1 3 5 ok now let's find the uh, length of perpendicular in before step we have already find this point in terms of k okay just put value of k k equals to 1 and you will get this point okay don't worry for that um, now perpendicular length is or you can write direct length of pm or direct length of the line you can write anything perpendicular length is root x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square this way we get let us suppose this is x2 1 minus 1 square plus 3 minus y1 6 square plus z2 5 minus z1 3 square equals to root 0 plus 3 square 9 plus 5 minus 3 2 square 4 equals to root 13 is final answer which is similar to this okay in this way we can prove all the relations or you can say answer in this way we'll solve this problem okay guys thank you for watching please do subscribe and don't forget to like thank you guys have a nice day